Hey everyone, Nima here and welcome back to Ransom. Today we're going to take a look at milk and especially how to make the most money with your milk. So I have here a full canister with 42 units of milk. So one bucket is seven units and this is then six buckets of milk. So one pot, let me show you, takes seven units. So one bucket per pot. And yes, you can also fill them with a bucket, which was asked a while back. Now, cheese is the most obvious thing with you, you can do with milk, but it's not the only thing. But let's start with that. So we're going to make, uh, let's make a blue cheese. And let's make a white mold cheese. I am going to add an egg, but I'll do that to everything. So that won't matter in the profit. But I have so many eggs, it's just a waste not to do it. So let's cook these. I can't add more milk after I added the mold and the egg. So just to be clear, I should have shown you that, but you can't, trust me. In the meantime, let's make some pork. An eye on the, on the cheeses. There we go. I'm gonna take my milk. But currently there is 28 milk in there add that's two units of milk i just added and we're gonna see how much more profit that's gonna give us but let's see can i add an egg too i can okay i'll make a couple of uh, products this way let's turn that on let's take our cheeses okay so i made a blue mold a white mold and let's make a normal yellow cheese there we go add an egg of course because we'll do that to everything there we go okay here's our sausage as you can see egg milk raw but i'll hang it to dry there we go Let's make some more products just for comparison. So that's a meatball. I won't bother with the bold sausage. It's, it's just, uh, this is about the profit, obviously. Okay, cheese is ripening. Milk. It looks funny as hell, that milk in, in the meat. Okay, this basket is empty. Go to the side, please. Egg. Now we've got a meatball. I also have some chickens ready, so we'll do it with that as well. Just to show you guys that you can do it with anything. Now the sausage, obviously you can bo boil that as well, but it's just a waste. After all, dried sausage is worth way more than boiled sausage. Oh, funny. The color changed. Uh, yeah, two. Okay. An egg. Put it in the sausage stuffer. And one more for a meatball. Just to show you guys, there's 15 units in here right now. Add the milk. And now there's 13. There, now you can see it just barely. So meat requires two units of milk, which is going to be important. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. It's going to be important to calculate profit, obviously. Uh, yeah, just go hang over there. So an egg adds 10 profit per product. Doesn't matter what you put it in, it's always 10. So we'll see what happens with the milk. And now we need to wait for all this to mature. So I'll be right back. And everything's done. So let's load everything up. I'm taking the small car because I have a lot of stuff in the big car to sell. 
and I want to have a clear comparison. So here's everything we made. A chicken, a meatball and sausage and a pork meatball and sausage all with egg and milk and one of each kind of cheese. So yellow cheese, white mold and blue mold. All of them with an egg. Now here is basically a comparison box. Now we don't need it for the for the cheese because there's no more milk added. And just the meat and some basic milk. As you can see it's exactly one bucket. So let's get to the restaurant and we're gonna calculate exactly which product gives us the most pro profit per unit of milk and a bucket being seven units of milk and a can come on yeah there we go a full can being 42 units of milk which by the way they changed recently with an update because it used to be 40 units of milk but that meant you always lost two units if you filled it all the way to the top and there we go there's the car store Oop. let's see because i'm trying to get it without the multipliers obviously for a fair comparison Just a chicken sausage, but we can get at least the pricing of everything else. I have one of each. So here you can see all the pricings without any multipliers and my calculations. Now to keep this very simple, milk per unit is $3. When you look at the meats where we added two milk per item, you can clearly see that there's a $12 difference between the one where there is milk and the one where there isn't milk. Now they all have egg, so just ignore that. So the profit for the milk is $12, but for two units, so per unit, is $6. So that's already double from what you get for normal milk. Then if you look at the yellow cheese, well, cheese is made from seven units of milk. And you get $10 per unit. Now, with the mold cheeses, we of course have to detract the price for the mold. But one package of mold makes five cheeses. So, with the white mold, you get price per cheese is $25. So, you have a profit of $85, which is $12.14 per unit of milk. Now you can clearly pause here and you know check my calculations go right ahead so the same thing we do with the blue mold cheese it's 46 dollars per cheese for the molds alone you have a profit 129 dollars which is 18.43 dollars per unit of milk in profit so the answer here is clear blue mold cheese gives you the most profit for your milk and is the best way to use your milk. That's clear. However, if you have a lot of cows and a lot of milk and your cheese uh, shelves are full because blue cheese does take a long time to mature, uh, you can choose to add it to, uh, to any of your meat products and get just a little bit more profit. But that's a good way to use it. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped you to decide what you want to do with the milk you got. Whether you're drowning in it or you barely get a bucket a day. Or two buckets. <laughs> if you want to see more of this game, leave me a like. If you want to see more of me? Subscribe. Leave me a comment telling me what you think of the game. What you think of the video. What you think of milk. And I will see you all next time